Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm delighted to welcome you to De Montfort and to the new academic year. At DMU, we pride ourselves on the diversity of the university. Over 100 nationalities are represented on campus, and we can't wait for you to be part of it. Leicester is a multicultural and welcoming place. We know it's a big step to study in a different country, particularly if English isn't your first language. But I want to reassure you that there's lots of support for you at DMU and we're with you every step of the way. That's why we'd encourage you to take part in our International Welcome Week. This is a great opportunity for you to settle in before your course starts and to get advice on living and studying in the UK and meet new staff and students. If you won't be on campus at that point due to travel restrictions, don't worry. There'll be a mixture of online and in-person activities. This week will include information and advice on areas such as healthcare, opening a bank account, study skills and working in the UK. There'll also be a tour of campus and the city as well as free in-person activities for you to enjoy. I hope that you can get involved in everything we have planned for you and I very much look forward to welcoming you to campus when you can get here. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to De Montfort University. My name is Andy Gale, and I'm the International Student Support Officer here, here at DMU. And we've, we've, we're the ones that have um, been arranging this week of activities for you. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more in a few minutes about International Welcome Week, what it's for, uh, and some of the things that will be happening. So first of all, I'd just like to talk a little bit about um, what the International Student Support Team does. Um, we're quite a small team, there's three of us, and we're based in the welfare section in Student Gateway. And we're not teachers. Our job really is to provide support and assistance for international students, particularly when you first arrived in Leicester, but also throughout your stay here at the university. So throughout your time here, throughout your student journey, you're very welcome to contact us with questions. Um, We've actually got a session or a drop in session. If you're here on campus during the week, you can also email us. I'll talk a little bit more at the end of the session about how you can contact us if you need to. So I know some of you uh, are still in your home countries. Some of you may be in quarantine after you've arrived in the UK. I know some are also on campus because I met about 30 or so students this morning. So that was great to meet you. I hope that in due course, we'll get to meet a lot more of you as you start to arrive here at the university. So if you've seen the program for International Welcome Week, um, you're probably aware that um, we've designed it slightly differently this year. So because again, we know that some of you are here on campus and some are not, um, we've deliberately planned it so that the, the key information sessions are online so there'll be there'll be live streams like this one and if you're on the the dmu welcome microsite you'll be able to see a list of those um, information sessions that are coming up during the course of the week so the idea really is that those sessions will answer hopefully a lot of the questions that you have when you first arrive in the uk so we know that students are very keen to hear about things like opening a bank account about healthcare, about working in the uk um about things like um how you can register and also um, about study skills so for example about how you can improve your english while you're studying and how you can develop your your writing and listening skills so we'll be having sessions about all those things during the course of the week so i do encourage you to to watch those sessions as they as they come up on screen so um just to explain a little bit about how these, these streams will work. So um, they won't be on demand. Um, so the way that the streams will work is they'll be live streamed. So um, if you look at the Welcome Week program, you'll see the times of the streams. They're also on, they're also, um, on the, um, the microsite as well. So do have a look at the times, try and catch those streams as they come up. But if you miss any, you don't need to worry because um, they will later become available as films to watch as well. OK, so try and follow the program if you can and watch them when, when those streams pop up, because there will also hopefully be a chance to post questions on some of those sessions as well. So, um, yeah, we hope you'll join as many of those as many of those streams as you can. Um, 
So we'll also be running um, during the course of the week quite a few um, in-person activities as well. Um, so for example, um, Students' Union are running activities. Um, they're doing karaoke this evening. So um, if you're around on campus, please do check in for the karaoke this evening. Um, I think it starts at seven o'clock. It's in the campus center um, on the second floor. So um, karaoke is always really good fun. It's always a good way of meeting new people. Um, so if you've arrived quite recently, and I know some of you have, um, do go on to the karaoke. Um, it's just good fun. Have a, have a sing or just watch it if you'd like to. Um, in addition to the karaoke, we've also got taiko drumming, courtesy of uh, DMU Music. Um, and we've also got a couple of events that we ask students to sign up for. So one of those is 10 pin bowling. That's tomorrow evening, Tuesday. Um, and we've also got a trip to a day trip to Warwick Castle. That's on Friday. So because um, we need to plan for transport and, and um, um, the logistics of that, um, and because there's a limit to the capacity of the venues we're going to, we do ask students to, to, to book places on those two activities. So if you've already registered onto International Welcome Week, um, you can, um, we should have already received a booking link for both those things, okay? So there are places, um, do book a place if you want to join us. Email us if you haven't got a link yet and we can send one to you, okay? So um, again, we do help, hope that we'll see you both online and if, if you're um, still overseas or if you're in quarantine, um, you'll be able to join those sessions. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about settling in. Um, and that was, I think that was mentioned um, in the Vice Chancellor's introduction briefly. Um, we do know that um, for many of you, it might be your first time when you first arrive in the UK, it might be your first time studying in a different country. And we also do understand that um, you're going to be studying possibly in a language which is not your first language. So that can be a really big life change. Um, and so what we do say to, to everybody, to all students when they first arrive, is to allow yourself time. OK, that's really important. So do allow yourself sufficient time to, just to settle in and to get used to things. Um, you might have heard the expression culture shock. And culture shock happens when you leave your own country and you first arrive in an unfamiliar culture or a new culture. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time just to start to settle in. So please do allow yourself time. Um, we'll be running um, various activities during the course of the term, which will be uh, intended to, to allow you to get to meet new students and to settle in. The other thing I wanted to mention is we're going to be running um, a session on, I think it's Thursday, which will be a Q&A session. And that will be uh, with myself, but also we've got three student ambassadors um, who are going to be joining this session. Um, they're all international students, um, so they've all been through this journey, the same journey that you're starting now. So they've all at one point arrived on campus. They've all had to start to settle in and to do their studies in the UK. So. The aim of that session really is that they'll be able to talk a little bit about how they settle in, how they adapted to being in the UK. Um, and they'll also be able to give their own tips and hints really about, um, about what to do and what they, they think will work too. Um, one of the things we always suggest is um, getting involved with some of the student union activities. Um, and the students union um, are gonna be running um, a societies and clubs um, drop in. Um, that's I think on Thursday afternoon, and that will be uh, that will be both live streamed and in person. So you'll be able to watch online or, or drop into the campus centre. Um, student societies are a really good way of meeting people. They have all kinds of stuff going on. So, in addition to things like um, international societies, so for example, there's a Chinese society, there's an Indian society, Nigerian society. There's all kinds. They also have um, a wide range of other kind of interests, all kinds of things really from Harry Potter through to cocktails, through to politics, um, all kinds of things are there really. So do check out those opportunities too. Um, one of the other things I wanted to mention as well was um, just a little bit about um, 
the healthcare session. So that's later today. Um, there'll be one of the doctors um, from the health center is going to be um, leading the session this afternoon. I think that's at 3.30. Um, please do listen out for that session. Do, do watch that because um, one of the things that's really important when you first arrive in the UK is to register with a doctor. So um, healthcare kind of varies from country to country, but in the UK, um, if you've arrived on a student visa, you'll be able to use the National Health Service, the NHS, in the same way that anybody else in the UK can. But we do recommend that you register with a doctor as soon as you can, because if you've registered with a doctor, you'll be able to use the NHS much more quickly and easily if you've already registered. So please don't wait until you feel ill before you register. Hopefully you won't be ill. Hopefully you'll be healthy throughout your time here. But even so, please do register with the doctor as soon as you can. And the doctor this afternoon, um, he's from the De Montfort Surgery, which is the health center on campus. Um, and he'll be talking a little bit more about how the NHS operates um, and also about how to register. Okay, so that's, that's a really useful session to attend. Um, not all of you necessarily will need to register with that particular surgery. It depends on where you're living, but um, if you're close to campus, it'll probably be De Montfort surgery where you'll need to register. The other thing is at that session, there's also going to be a member of staff from DMU who is closely involved with all the, um, the arrangements for COVID-19. So she is involved with particularly the testing program on campus. Um, so she will talk a little bit more about the kinds of things um, that, that are happening on campus to ensure uh, COVID safety. Um, she might also be able to talk a little bit more about vaccination as well. So again, that's another good reason to, to follow that session, okay? Um, if you have questions about COVID-19 and you're interested in what the university's doing about that, um, we have a, a really good website called Your DMU Safety. So do check that website out. I think you'll find a lot of your questions about COVID-19 uh, answered there. Um, so check the website out. Do follow the session this afternoon. Um, and the, the colleague of mine that's going to be at that session will talk a bit more about testing as well, because we have a lateral flow testing st uh, station in the learning zone. Uh, students are encouraged to get tested there twice a week. All right. But again, look at the session this afternoon. Um, the other things I was just going to mention, um, I'm just looking at the program now while I'm speaking. Um, so an, another thing I'd recommend doing is looking at the well, the well-being session we have. Uh, that's tomorrow. Um, so the well-being team will talk a bit more about um, ways that you can look after yourself while you're here on campus. Um, one thing I wanted to say really is that we have, there is an awful lot of support available to you whilst you're at DMU. So in addition to my team, the International Student Support Team, um, there is a range of support. If you, if you go on the Healthy DMU site, you'll find out some of the opportunities that are available for you there. Also the Students' Union who are running sessions this week have an advice team as well. Um, and of course, in your faculties, there's also a lot, a lot of support staff who can help you with any queries that you have. So please do um, get in touch with us or other colleagues if there's anything you need help or assistance with. In terms of contacting um, the International Student Support Team, there's a number of ways you can do that. So you can email us and our email address is ISS, that stands for International Student Support. So iss at dmu.ac.uk. So please do email us with any questions. Um, the other thing that you can do if you're on campus, we're having a drop-in session. Um, that's tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. So on the program for the International Welcome Week, you can find the details there. So please drop in and see us if you've got any questions tomorrow. Um, as I said, I think you'll find a lot of the questions that you may have will be answered during the information sessions this week. But again, we're very happy to, to help if, if we need to. The other thing is once you've registered with a student, uh, sorry, once you've registered as a student, you'll be able to book appointments with us um, with any questions you might have. Okay, so there's lots of ways you can get in touch with us if you need to. 
So I think that's that's most of the things I was going to run through with, with this introductory session. I think the main thing I want to say to you is a very warm welcome to you. Um, we're really happy that you're following International Welcome Week. We hope you're going to enjoy the week. Um, we hope it's going to be informative. We hope it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and again, as I said earlier, we do hope we're going to meet you in person as soon as we can. All right. So um, a warm welcome. We hope to see you soon. Um, please get in touch with us if you need to. Um, enjoy the sessions that are coming up. And um, I hope to meet you very soon. So thanks very much. And bye-bye.